Welcome back to the program and beer number 12 of the 12 Brews of Christmas 2023. Uh, save this one for last. I wasn't originally going to be my last one, but it ended up coming into slot number 12 because, well, it sounds delicious, honestly. Um, this is from Ellicottville Brewing Company out of Ellicottville, New York, and have a location in uh, Little Valley, New York. This one here is their chocolate peppermint bark. It says flavored stout. Uh, this is a collaboration between the brewery and Platter's Chocolate Factory, uh, who has been operating for 85 years in northern New York and never had any of their chocolates. The beers I've had from Ellicottville that have collabed with them have all been really solid. And this one here, Peppermint Bark. Listen, there's a couple of peppermint beers I did here. I hope I finally have one that really delivers on that peppermint, especially that peppermint bark flavor, which I absolutely love this time of year. Uh, anyhow, you see the festive artwork on this right here. You can crack it open, get a pour on it, and, um, it's just all about what it looks like, what it smells like, and see what it tastes like. So, definitely dark looking there. Uh, let's see here. Pretty aggressive on the pour, but that is fine. It looks fairly creamy, frothy. Uh, one side of the glass is a bunch of fish eye bubbles popping away in there fish eye, a bunch of compact bubble. It's going to clear up pretty quick, it looks like, though. Outside of that, a lot of nice, nice lacing. As you can see, the uh, Christmas story uh, glass I'm using here. But nice lacing, nice, just a brown, brown two fingers. Uh, is it, yeah, about a finger and a half is what it's kind of settled down to, but it is very, very uh, creamy, frothy head on this one here. I think get a little bit more in there and probably top it off. Got it all in there, all right. Chocolate peppermint bark. A flavored stout coming in at 7% alcohol by volume. Looks the part, doesn't it? Looks like a stout beer. We're up to two fingers ahead here and it's still really frothy. Uh, last pour finished off some bubbles on the outside there, but still looks really good. So let's get a nose on this. Yeah, that's straight chocolate peppermint bark. That's what that smells like. I mean, it is, it is just very prominent, very defined chocolate peppermint bark. I'm trying to just dig into it, see if I get any of, you know, a, a malty, chocolatey coffee-ness, uh, like the, the base stout. It's just that sweet peppermint chocolate is what I'm getting. It actually smells really good. It smells like it's gonna be very sweet, but it smells very, very good, so. Let's get a drink on this thing. Okay. Let's unpack this. Body, just approaching full body. Try in that medium range. Uh, mouth fill. Uh, very, very moderate carbonation. There's a coating to the tongue, a little bit of a velvety creaminess to it. But it's not like pastry stout or anything like that to me. It's just a, cr a mild creaminess, velvety smoothness to it. Kind of a very generic stoutness to it up front. Um, you know, chocolate maltiness to it up front. Just a charred chocolate maltiness to me. Mild, mild coffeeness. That is a passage to the pal palate there. Some of that chocolatey mintness does open up, but it's all very, very minor. 
very mild. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna be wrong. It's good stout. I can taste the, the peppermint bark in it. I get it. I taste it. Um, maybe my expectations were too high um, on a couple of these beers, including this one, where I wanted that, a lot of that chocolate peppermint bark. I could just go buy that like it was blended up. Just not there. Um, with that said, it's good. It's, it's definitely a solid uh, peppermint chocolatey milk stout for this time of the year. Not milk stout, but stout for this time of the year. Uh, the sweetness to it definitely puts you in mind of a milk stout. They're not saying, they're just saying stout on here, flavored stout. Uh, overall, I would recommend this. So I, I would say if you're into this type of beer and you're not looking for a big, full body, uh, big beer, I just want something kind of easy drinking. This fits the bill for that. Uh, for that, I, I'll say uh, it's good. Um, is it my favorite? No, it's not my favorite, but it's very, very good. It's very solid. Um, I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, you know, just just one thing I just wish, stronger peppermint bark uh, flavor to it. Uh, overall, I enjoyed all the beers uh, that I've done this year. Hope you watched all the reviews. Hope you give them a big thumbs up and, and drop a comment down there. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching.